Metacham is one of the scariest offensive threats in the Gen 3 OU metagame. I've always thought highly of this Pokemon, but recently it seems that the general community believes Metacham is one of a select few UUBL ranked Pokemon that deserve to rise up to OU. This monstrous wall breaker sets itself apart from fellow Gen 3 fighting types thanks to its ability Huge Power, which allows it to achieve an absurdly high attack stat. It also has unique moveset options and a variety of different ways it can be used. Metacham is a Pokemon that rewards skillful and confident play and creative team building. Although it's fairly slow and frail, this is a rare Pokemon that can pose a threat to absolutely everything in the metagame and cause serious damage if you make the right choices. For that reason, Metacham is my personal favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. Whenever you see this Pokemon in a high level game, you know it's about to get way more exciting, and using this Pokemon in competitive battles is an absolute treat. Let's take a look at Gen 3 OU's most skillful and epic Pokemon, and all the different ways it can be used. Subscribe to the channel so that we can prevent the innocent and kind-hearted Pokemon Spoink from discovering the many wrongdoings of his controversial future self, Iron Fellow, before it's too late. Thank you. Pure Power is an ability that doubles a Pokemon's attack stat. Although Metacham's base attack of only 60 is quite low, this ability will double all of your additional stats from your EVs and nature, and with maximum attack investment plus an adamant nature, Metacham can reach an unbelievable attack stat of 480. This is even higher than a max attack adamant Grudon or Rayquaza. An immediately obvious way to take advantage of Metacham's attack stat even further is to give it a choice band. With a choice band equipped, Metacham can reach a gargantuan attack stat of 720. Not even common switch-ins like Skarmory or Salamence can withstand the sheer power of a choice band Metacham. Cham Focus Punch. While this is a very alluring concept, there are some downsides to using a Choice Band Metacham. Locking into moves is very punishable, especially when your two main attacking types are Fighting and Ghost. Locking into these types could be easily taken advantage of by an immune Pokemon, but without the ability to switch moves, you can completely halt your team's momentum and allow them to easily recover. And that's the best case scenario. If your opponent guesses correctly and switches to Gengar on one of your Fighting type moves, for example, you're in huge trouble with nothing to show for it. Metacham's attack stat is high enough without Choice Band to pose a massive threat to most of the metagame, so at a certain point that extra attack, while alluring, can have diminishing returns. This set isn't completely unviable, but it requires a bit more support than the standard 4 attack set with leftovers. This is the most popular Metacham set, and it tends to use a move set with Brick Break, Focus Punch, Shadow Ball, and Rock Slide, a fantastic combination of coverage. Brick Break forces out Tyranitar and Blissey, who are extremely common Pokemon, and Metacham has tools to threaten almost every possible switch in. Focus Punch has a massive 150 base power, which really punishes defensive switches to Pokemon like Skarmory and Swampert, and can even chunk through resistances like Zapdos or Celebi. Shadow Ball hits the ghost types that are immune to fighting, and also psychic types that resist fighting, and Rock Slide threatens those flying types that resist fighting as well. The choice between an adamant and jolly nature is usually team dependent. The amount of extra attack you get from an adamant nature is really significant because of pure power, but you sacrifice important speed benchmarks in the process. With a max speed of only 259, you'll end up slower than enemies like Adamant Heracross, Smeargle, and Modest Moltres. For this reason, I personally prefer a Jolly Nature, which allows you to reach 284 max speed. If you're Adamant, Common flying types can easily switch in against fighting type moves and force you out, halting your momentum. But if you can outrun these Pokemon and threaten them directly with Rock Slide, all of a sudden your Metacham is much scarier. One of the reasons I love Jolly Metacham is because it can turn the tables on these usually solid fighting type checks. Another awesome adaptation on Metacham that I've seen recently is running Lumberry on a lead set. This is a brilliant choice because it actually disguises what your item is. If you're running leftovers and get hit by Sandstorm, the enemy enemy can clearly see that your item is leftovers, and rule out options like Choice Band or certain berries. If you're running a Lumberry, however, the enemy doesn't know if you're Choice Banded or not, which can make them play awkwardly. An interaction I love is leading off with Metacham against Tyranitar, then using Brick Break, inviting in their Gengar. Since Gengar is immune to fighting, you deal no damage, so they have no information about your attack and can't determine whether you're choice banned or not. Since you don't have leftovers, a lot of players will assume that you are choice banned and currently locked into a fighting type move, so they use Will-O-Wisp thinking it's totally safe. You heal that burn with your berry and get them with a surprise shadow ball. Another awesome option on Metacham is Salakberry. This also serves the purpose of concealing your item and can let you get way more short-term value 
out of your meta champ. With an adamant nature, max speed, and a speed boost from the berry, you can outrun almost everything in the game, reaching 388 speed. Outrunning Stami and Gengar and threatening them with Shadow Ball is particularly significant. Substitute can be used to help you get into berry range and also let you use that classic Substitute Focus Punch combo. Baton Pass is another cool option on these sets that can help your flexibility. While sacrificing a coverage option is significant, the ability to pivot out and keep momentum up can be very worthwhile. This is especially effective if you're using Magneton. If they go Skarmory and you bat and pass out, you've just guaranteed a completely safe trap. The ability to pass on effects like Substitute and that Selakberry speed boost can also be valuable alternative game plan. Selakberry Metacham is a great opener that has multiple different possible ways to keep momentum up and maintain your offensive pressure. The player Ban Manaphy is an example of a high level competitor that has taken huge advantage of Metacham in recent memory. Ban Manaphy brought this Metacham team to two different sets in Kallus Invitational, and it won both times. This team actually breaks one of the golden rules of Gen 3 OU team building. It's considered almost mandatory to have a solid rock resistance on your team due to the prevalence of Dragon Dance Tyranitar and Aerodactyl. Without something like Swampit, Metagross, or Flygon on your team that can reliably check these Pokemon, you can very easily be overwhelmed. But sometimes rules can be broken. This team, with the assistance of Medicham, manages to control the pace of battles so well in the hands of a strong player that Tyranitar and Aerodactyl don't even get enough time to set themselves up for victory. In this game against the player Jester, Ban Manaphy leads off with Medicham, forcing out just as Tyranitar. Medicham goes for a Baton Pass, which allows a completely safe pivot into Pursuit Tyranitar. Tyranitar, responding to Jester's Gengar switch. Gengar is now dangerously low, making Metacham significantly stronger. By baiting in Gengar like this and increasing the chance of a successful pursuit trap, you are supporting both Metacham and also Cursed Snorlax, who really appreciates ghost types being eliminated. When Metacham entered the field later in the battle, forcing out a Blissey, Jester was hesitant to go Gengar again, wary of another Baton Pass into Pursuit Tyranitar, or a simple Shadow Ball or Rock Slide to finish Gengar off. So Jester went to Swamp It as a Metal ground and took a surprising 61% damage. It turns out this was a choice band Metacham all along. This is a great example of how Metacham can maintain offensive pressure and create awkward positions for the opponent through bluffing and mind games. Metacham is overall a fantastic presence in Gen 3 OU. This Pokemon serves to keep this metagame fresh, not only by encouraging tense and exciting in-game situations, but by enabling really unique team structures. Metacham is great at punishing overly greedy and defensive teams, which also keeps the metagame from becoming too stagnant. And that's why it's my favorite Pokemon in the format. Metacham represents everything that I think makes competitive Pokemon so awesome. The money got big feet. Cause I'm gonna spend you.